What do you want? Well, I've been looking all over for you. You're supposed to be with your grandfather. Well, there wasn't anything I could do for him. So invite me in, huh? Would you get your head out of the way? I want to shut the door. Rachel, are you crying? It's none of your business. Well, I'm going to make it my business. You have a lot of nerve. What's, what's the suitcase for? Where are you going? You're coming to get me tomorrow. Who's coming to get you? The social worker people, Miss Franks. Why? Because... Dr. Rossi couldn't tell me to my face, so he left a note. Just a note. Well, at least I'll be out of everybody's way and I won't be the town nuisance anymore. You know what I think? I think you're acting like a spoiled brat. You're, you're, you're wallowing in self-pity. Self-pity? Just because Dr. Rossi oh. leaves for a couple of days doesn't mean that it's the end of the world that he's deserted you. Oh, leave me alone. You know what? You know what? I think you've got the wrong idea about him anyway. His whole world doesn't revolve around you, Rachel. I mean, he's got a job. Let's face that. Please. I don't want to see you hurt. Don't worry. I mean, well, a lot of his patients have had a crush on him. I don't have a crush on him. And I'm tired of hearing everybody explain Dr. Rossi to me. Well, why aren't you packing your new clothes in the suitcase? Because I don't need charity. Charity? I'm sending them back. Dr. Rossi paid for them. What have you got against people being kind? He didn't tell me about it. The man was being tactful. Oh. He was... Listen to me. He wasn't treating you any more like a charity case than Mrs. Carson was when she went with you to buy those things. Some people just plain like you. Oh. Believe it or not. I happen to know that Mrs. Carson feels sorry for me. She's asked me to come and live at their house. What? To take care of baby Matthew. I'm not going to do it. When did that come up? Mr. Carson was here a little while ago. And I told him I wasn't interested. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. You are interested. And I'm going to take you over there right now. Sit down. No, no, don't sit down. Go comb that hair. I can't go. They don't really want me. Mr. Carson doesn't trust me. He thinks of things about Allison that I haven't told him. And Mrs. Carson just talked him into it to be kind. Oh. I happen to know that... Mrs. Carson doesn't do things just to be kind. Now comb that hair. And I thought you liked Mrs. Carson. I do. And you think, you think she's capable of being two-faced, huh? <laughs> oh, please, Rachel, please don't cry. Hey. I think Mrs. Carson's the kindest woman I ever met. She's beautiful, like my mother was. <laughs> oh, go away. Here. Now, I want you to wash your face and comb your hair, and I'll take you over to the Carson's. Thank you.